Hello, Paul is the best for UK here, and welcome to today's Dreamcast Game of Day video. Every day, November 2020, a different uh, Sega Dreamcast game on my channel. So, yep, this is uh, produced or under license from Sega Enterprises. So, yep, okay, so it's 6 pm, and or whenever you're watching it, whatever time it is, we've got Tony York skateboarding today, 1999 to 2000 Activision. So uh, yeah, this I had this on the PlayStation and the uh, PC, but I don't think I played the Dreamcast version. So uh, yeah, we've got our now ghost coming into perspective here. Crave Entertainment. And yep, so yeah, and that one, and Neversoft Street Charge. Okay, so yeah, this is Tony Hawk's on the Dreamcast. So here comes the Activision logo. There it is, that's the old way they used to do it. I think the Activision logo comes on a bit differently these days, but uh, yeah. They've been making games for a very long time. Way right back when, even when the Atari 2600 was out. So here's that introduction video. So yeah, Tony Hawk's Skateboarding. So this is the first game. The game had many sequels, but this is the first one. I've had to disable the music on this, unfortunately, because uh, it's copyrighted music. It's actual band singing on this, so I'm, I do apologise about that, but it's the only way I'm going to get around content match. So yeah, okay, so back to main, and uh, yeah, let's start the game. So career mode, new game. Choose our memory card file. I won't bother entering the name. And uh, yep, so save computer, you can see the VMU in the background there. On the uh, VMU screen, it says Tony Hawk Skateboard and logo on it. So we've got our choose of players. Quite a few here. Yeah, so quite a few. It would be Tony Hawk himself. He was 31 at the time of this. This is in 2000. So you can choose your uh, skateboard as well. You can choose steering steering on a skateboard hmm and choose a wheel color so yeah we'll accept that now the only level you can play on is the first one warehouse woodland hills because the rest need you need tapes to unlock so you've got to collect like video tapes on this so yep yeah, so you got five tapes there let's go it tells you the uh, direction the objectives to uh, get a tape like five thousand points smash the boxes get skate Hidden tape and stuff, so yeah. Now, as you can see, this is Tony Hawk's skateboarding. Now, it's not quite the same without the music, so I do apologize about that. There is some really decent track music on this one, but yeah, okay. So, yeah, graphics very good, very sharp, not blocky, close up or anything. That's what the Dreamcast did best. Uh, it looks like a 3D FX game, actually. Oh, you bugger! So, yeah, okay, so. Uh, Yep, basically you pull off tricks and stuff. Ooh, well you try and do it without hitting yourself on the head face. Get a bit more speed up for that. There we go. So yeah, you can pull off loads of tricks. It's much better with the music, to be honest. But like I said, I had to disable that because of cop you do YouTube copyright things. Content match. Oh, you fuck. So, yeah, do a few tricks. Wee. Okay, so, yeah. Oh, switch method, but I just went straight into the face. Okay, so, yeah, let's have a look around the... Uh, oh, you fuck. Remember the... Uh, have a look around the place. You can grind on the uh, things. Wee. So, yeah, try and grind on the railing and stuff. Game's nice and smooth, a good frame rate. This was originally out on the PlayStation, uh, PlayStation One. So yeah, it's the Dreamcast is much more powerful than the PlayStation One, of course. Oh, you fuck! I believe a version of it also come out on the Nintendo 64. Okay, so yeah, let's uh, try and. Oh, you fuck! I'm not very good at it, that's for sure. So yeah. Gonna switch here or flip there. Time's almost out. There we go, time's out. So, 
you can watch a replay on that, but I'm gonna have another go on that, see what we can do. Okay, so let's smash through the window, that must hurt a bit. You can, yeah, I was gonna say, you can grind on the top of that bar as well. These skateboarding games were very popular in the early 2000s. That's why they had loads of sequels and stuff. There were sequels on the PlayStation 2 as well, and the Xbox original. Got quite a lot of points for that one. Oh, straight in my face. So yeah, okay. I'm absolutely horrendous at this, as you can see. Right, okay, so get some speed up so I can do some tricks. There we go. I've got a tape because I've got the high score. 5,000 points, that's just a tape. So you can get a tape by getting them letters as well. Yeah, you'll find when you come to play this on your own Dreamcast, you've got that excellent soundtrack, which I'm not unfortunately able to uh, demonstrate on this video. But you can at least you get to see what the graphics are like. Yeah, it looks excellent. Good, good looking game. Good, good. Just generally good. It responds well. The uh, the player responds well to the controls. You can use the analog or analog stick or the D-pad to play this one. Oh, you fuck. Right, okay, let's jump up here. Oof, nasty. All right, let's try and... Uh, wee. Oh, straight back on my back. That must have hurt. There's an S there to try and get it. There we go. Look at that. Yeah, you do get a lot of points for the tricks that you, you pull off. Ooh. So yeah, that's the end of the clock again. So I've got a tape. So you can get these VHS tapes. It will save save your data for you. Once you VMU, you can enter your I score initials if you want. Uh, now I think you need more than one tape to go on the next level, but I'll have a look anyway. Two tap. Oh, you need one more tape. Okay, yeah, so that's uh, Tiny York Skateboarding on the Dreamcast. Nice little game for gaming day. I'm going to give that one an 8 out of 10. So I'd like to thank you for watching. Goodbye!